Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasad, and Babarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings be unto all the hopeful elect, to the house of David, to the one third, to the men, woman, and the children. All right. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means he is. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his son, which means he's the deliverer. Right, and this is the brother Mirar, and as the video you can see here, I'm going to play it in just a second. But I just want to, you know, give you um, pretty much uh, what it's about. <clears throat> so with with the rise and everything breaking out all throughout the world, you know, the uproars of the people, pretty much over this George Floyd incident, you had uh, pretty much uh, beef between the tribes. Because if you don't know by now, the the twelve tribes of Israel. Right, are the Lord's are the Lord's chosen people. We're the Hebrew Israelites. All right, and by faith we believe them to consist of the Negroes, the Latinos, the Central Americans, the Cubans, the Mexicans, the Panamanians, the Dominicans, the Puerto Ricans, um, uh, so forth and so on. So all of these tribes make up the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. So with the rise and everything there, there was beef between pretty much the southern kingdom, because the southern kingdom consists of three tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and the northern kingdom consists of the ten tribes, which the head of the northern kingdom being the, uh, being the Puerto Ricans. And as you can see here, you know, these guys are Latin kings, which I believe the Latin kings are a gang of, of Puerto Ricans, all right? And they were going against the, they were going against the, the Negroes because they thought that they were going to come ride in, in the neighborhood. You know, which this is my opinion, but I believe they got spies, cops, and government agents working amongst them to further cause the vision uh, against the tribes and to have us kill one another. You know, but the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah found this video where they pretty much, you know, where they pretty much kind of made up. All right, so I'm just going to play this video. And then also I have one more to play, then I'll get some of our precepts. Alright, so I'm just going to pause it and I'm just going to read this real quick. Alright, this it says, So I just talked to one of the heads for the Latin kings, one of the generals. They're standing down and they're fucking up the young guys who started all the bullshit. Yeah, because there were pretty much a lot of tension and a lot of war between the, the tribes, you know? And as you can see uh, earlier, you know, the, the Judah got on the bus and pretty much kicked the uh, Issacharite or the Mexican in the back, all right? Because what happened was these, uh, through, uh, through the riots, which is all coming out, how it's all, you know, orchestrated by Esau, the so-called white man, the devil, which these white people, according to the Bible, their biblical nationality is an Edomite. Right near the devil that the Bible speaks of, they're sending out their agent provocateurs in the midst of Jake's peaceful protest to smash in windows, to burn things down, to flip cars, things of that nature. And it's happened out here in Rochester, New York, too. You know, there's there's agents in the midst. You know, so with that, all the stores in, in, in the Southern Kingdom neighborhood, the so-called Negroes, the so-called black people, their stores are fucked up. So they're having to go out into different suburbs and different areas to get food and stuff. All right, now there in Chicago is, is heavily divided. You got Latins over here, Mexicans over here, blacks over there. So they had to go out there for food and different things of that nature. And as they were going out there, they were throwing bricks at the car, dragging them out the car, jumping them, beating them. All right? So uh, people start getting killed, you know? So I'm going to finish reading it. It says, I talked to Angel for the Latin folks. They're standing down as well. And thanks for the ladies who facilitated these phone calls. People sent them off telling them we were coming to loot and destroy their neighborhoods, but still be careful because they got little assholes like we do running around doing stupid shit. So we coming together to stop the violence between our two communities. I can't lie. I was ready for war, but violence is not the way. See, the, the tribes, they were pretty much going by to go to war together in the midst of Esau declaring war and against us, in the midst of martial law being declared. All right? If any of the HRAD want to talk to them, I have the numbers. Still be careful, though. Somebody's trying to push for a race war. It's not happening today. See, there's spies and, and agents amongst them, and they're trying to push for a race war between Mexicans and blacks, Hispanics, Latins, Dominicans, and blacks. All right. 
which through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yom we make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Now, the elect of all the tribes, because you will have 12,000 out of each tribe, they're going to come together and realize that they're brothers. We have a common power, which our power is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shah. And we have common enemy, too. All the nations of the world are enemies, man. All right. The numeral uno is the so called white man, the Edomites. They're our top enemy. All right. And we on 26th Street. 26th Street. Gang them. Everybody out here. You hear me? Come join the fucking movement, man. And why y'all put me on World Star Hip Hop saying I'm the Latin King leader? I am the Latin King killer leader. If, the, if I'm anything, I'm a Latin King killer leader, nigga. I'm... We all together. We operating in love. You know what I'm saying? And for the motherfuckers on the other side was doing all that weirdo shit, motherfuckers gonna have to answer for that, bro. That we gonna have to answer for that. But don't bring that shit to everybody, man. Y'all see what's really going on over here, for real. Y'all see what the fuck is going on. Real talk. We got a whole lot of more other good black folk coming out here to motherfucker, you feel me? They got a whole lot, we got a whole lot more black folks coming out here and kicking it, all that. Whoever right you is, slide with them right now, bro. Y'all can slide right now, on this block, right now. Real talk, it's all fucking love, man. We on the corner right here, 26th Street, Kaminsky, come through. Fuck the 12, fuck the kings, fuck word, man. People don't start hitting me up until I do a lesson. My black brothers come over here. I got some more brothers on the way. And it's, it's that, man. This is what the fuck it's about. Everybody that was scared for their safety, I'm proving it to y'all right now. This is the only black homie with us right only for right now because there's going to be a lot of people on the way. But ain't nobody finna touch this, man. Ain't nobody doing nothing over here. Nobody on that with nobody. Everything finna be peaceful and we finna move it on up too. We gonna try to make it to the other neighborhoods and let people know like, hey, that shit smoke already, bro. Ain't none of that racist shit, ain't none of that Hispanic versus black shit. All that shit smoke. Real talk. Hey. Hey, folks, you doing too fucking much on this corner, guy. I'm dead serious, B. That's not the point, though, bro. You're doing too much, bro. All that, all that, don't nobody give a fuck about who's right here right now, bro. We can all eat around this motherfucker. Real talk. Just not the motherfuckers that think they finna come over here and do all that looting shit. I still stand on that. You feel like you finna come over here and do all that looting or anything. I don't give a fuck what race you is on, bro. Your ass get beat the fuck up around this bitch. Y'all, y'all, look at that. Y'all see? Yeah. Get they ass out of here. Get they ass out of here. Get they ass out of here. Yeah, man, so pretty much the spirit had it to where they, they call the truth. And now you see uh, so-called black and brown uniting. All right, so I'm going to play one more video. And um, Lord willing, I'll leave the link for these videos in the uh, description. All right, that's the one I just played. All right, here we go. All right, now this is in New York City. You know, you had the Dominicans doing the same thing. The so-called Negroes out there in New York City, which the Dominicans, they're from the uh, the Northern Kingdom, you know, the, which they're right down the island of, um, I believe it's uh, Hispaniola, which is divided between Haitians and, and, and Dominicans. See, we're all the same people. And when you look at the breakdown for Simeon and Levi, they pretty much have the same breakdown. You know, Dominicans practicing their witchcraft, Santeria, and Levi's practice, practicing voodoo and, and hoodoo, you know. And they, they, so it's pretty much the same breakdown for those tribes, which proven that all the tribes are, are, are brothers. All right. Understanding. We got Flacco from the VX. Scrub Dykeman is in the building, and I want to personally say I apologize for what happened. We, we are men of our word. And there's no more to it, man. At the end of the day, I want people to understand we all unified. We all bleed, we all bleed the same color. We all bleed the same color. And we did this so people could stop inside promoting violence. And we're not about violence. At the end of the day, we all going through the same struggle. See? But I got the spirit, at the end of the day, we all going through the same struggle. We got the same enemy. We got the same enemies. We got the same power. We're, we're brothers. So the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shad, man, he got the tribes 
linking up is going to happen on a worldly level with with, with with Jake said in the street that may not know that the Israelites or they may find out later that the Israelites and they may find out later that you know about the tribes and that we're all the same people but on a worldly level these young uh different um groups of uh, Hispanics natives and blacks they're going to get together man the spirit is going to bring them together now the elect out of 12,000 each tribe the Lord is going to bring us together and brothers are going to form camps, which is why over there in L.A. you have a whole camp for the Northern Kingdom and the brothers speak Spanish and all, man, bringing out and out there in Chicago, too. You know, so this is going to keep happening as we get closer and closer to the end. You know, all of this oppression, all of this rioting and destruction, the Lord is going to bring his uh, his elect together. I'm talking about the men of the Lord that are coming to this fold, the 12,000 out of each tribe. But also on the worldly aspect, the most High is going to bring our people together, whether it be for the race wars, you know, whether it be through um, they both lost someone to police brutality. <laughs> the most is going to bring them together, man. It's, it's Bible prophecy. I got to salute these guys because they came into our hood. They came back so we can show everybody that. Look, we are united. It was a misunderstanding. And everybody with that chit chat, leave it alone, man. Right, because they told the Northern Kingdom, you know, the, the Dominicans and the like, they told them that, hey, these niggas going to come in your neighborhood and tear shit up. So y'all got to kill them. Y'all got to police them. Where pretty much the white people came into into the Jake neighborhood and uh, started rioting and smashing up the stores so that Jake now has to go to the suburbs to go and get food. <laughs> and he runs even more of a risk of getting pulled over. All right, because they see you black riding in the suburbs. You run over more risk of getting pulled over. And then you going out there and being harassed by other tribes, man. All right, see, this is all orchestrated by ultimately Yahweh Shemuel Shah is doing it, but he's using the Esau on the left hand side, man. All right. Nobody got hurt and everybody came together and everybody understands that at the end of the day, we are one human race. One. But at the end of the day, the cops are fucked. See, he went off right there. We're one human race. Really, all the tribes are, are brothers, you know. If he was in the know, that's what he would have said. All right, because we're not all one human race. All right, the so-called white people, they're not our brothers. The Arabs, the East Indians, the Chinese, the Japanese, they're not our brothers, and they don't give a fuck about us. Excuse my French, but no other, all the nations on the planet hate us, man. All right, so the only ones that are going to stick together are the tribes, whether they know it or not. It's all spiritual. Up, but we got to stick right. together and we fight against police brutality. Facts. Yo, Cody, you want to say something? Because right, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of so-called um, Northern Kingdom Jakes, all right, or Hispanic Israelites, they get shot down by the cops too. It's not really, it don't really get a lot of media attention, like like when the so-called black man gets shot, but they get shot down too. They get they get brutalized by the police too, you know? So I'm going to start with Ezekiel 37. This is Ezekiel 37 and verse 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and ride upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Now, Judah is the southern kingdom. All right, the southern kingdom consists of three tribes: Judah, which is the which is the head tribe, the king. All right, if it's evident, our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah, of which Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. So that's the top tribe, man. Hell, mm -hmm. the heavenly father, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are Judites. All right, then you got Benjamin up in there, where King Saul and Jonathan came from. All right, uh, Apostle Paul is a Benjamite. Then you got the tribe of Levi, the priest, the, the Maccabees. Those, they make up the southern king. All right, and for the children of Israel, his companions, and take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Now, this is dealing with the ten tribes. All right, with Jeroboam, through the prophet Ahiah, when you read the, uh, when you read the account, I believe it's uh, 1 Kings 11, when you read the account, the prophet Ahiah told him that you're going to get ten tribes. So the head tribe of the Northern Kingdom is the Puerto Ricans. The head tribe of the Southern Kingdom is the Negroes, African Americans. All right, and and all the tribes with them. You see the Dominicans, the uh, Mexicans, and the Puerto Ricans. They're all on one accord. They're doing the same shit in different states. <laughs> you know, the Dominicans are following what the Mexicans and the Puerto Ricans are doing in Chicago. It's because there's the stick of Ephraim and all the house of Israel and his companions, man. All right, but the spirit's gonna have them join into one. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy hand. Meaning the kingdom split after Solomon's, you know, went to the, back home to the spiritual world. 
and it got divided between the two kings, the king Rehoboam, which is the king of the southern kingdom of the Judite, and Jeroboam, the, the Ephraimite, he's the head of the northern kingdom, man. All right, but now these two kingdoms are being brought back into one kingdom together. All right, just like it was during the time of David, the house of David is being rebuilt. All right, and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put him even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in thy hand. And that's what's happening right now. All right? And this is why we have the uh, 12 tribes chart. And I want to look up the definition of this word uh, stick. Because a lot of people, they go in about the tribe chart. You know, they say it's this and, and it's that. Uh, let me see. I believe it's stick. It says tree, wood, timber, stock, plank, stalk, stick, gallows, tree, trees, wood, pieces of wood, gallows, firewood, seedy wood. All right, so the piece of wood, the, the 12 tribes chart, man. That's why we have the 12 tribes chart with the different tribes. And as you can see, I'm going to go down the list. All right, you got Judah, Negroes, Benjamin, West Indians, Levi, Haitians, Simeon, Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala, to Panama. All right, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cuban, Gad, North American, Amb Indians, Reuben, Seminole Indians, Naftali, the Argentina, to Chileans, Asher, Colombians, to Uruguayans, Issachar, Mexicans. All right, and these are the 12 tribes, which we believe that by faith, man. And the Lord is bringing us back together. All right. Uh, verse 20. And the sticks whereupon thou writest shall be one, shall be in thy hand before their eyes. And that's why when you see us at camp, we always have that 12 tribes chart out there, man. All right, because that 12 tribes chart catches people eye when they see us out there and they walk past people read that chart little children women and men you know the cops come up and read it they ask if they if they can get a part no you can't get a part of it man because the lord is not dealing with everybody he's only dealing with the israelites all right 21 and say unto them thus did the lord yahweh shimel shai behold i will take the children of israel from among the heathen whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them to their own land right because we have been scattered it was part of our curse to be scattered everywhere. So you have different tribes that are all over the world. Hell, you have Native Americans in Europe. You have Native Americans in, um, um, and what's the island? In the islands. It's lucky it slipped my mind right now, but you got a lot of Native Americans that got sold to different uh, islands, man. All right. And I will make them one nation and the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king over them, which is uh, King David. All right, because the Lord promised King David an everlasting throne. And they shall be no more two nations, right? They ain't going to be two kingdoms no more. We ain't going to be divided. Neither shall they be divided into in, any more into two kingdoms at all. And there's heavy division between the tribes. At least there was at one point. But as we get closer and closer to the end, the Lord is bringing the spirit of unity back in the tribes. Because we have been divided and conquered. We have been divided by uh, language, color of our skin, hair texture. Uh, where are we from? All right, there, there's heavy division be, between the, the tribes, man, and it's all and it's all um, done by our, our enemy. Now check this out. I, I looked it up. Uh, divide and conquer slaves and natives. Check this out. It says colonial laws divide and conquer. Example of laws. All right. It says because today's racial divisions run so deep in the USA. We tend to think of them as normal. However, there's a cause for everything. It's not always as simple as you might think. Number one, predict the measures that were taken to keep Indians and blacks from uniting or that may have even made them to feel hostile one toward another. <laughs> you see, that's part of the curses, man, that we'll be hostile one toward another. We wouldn't know uh, who we are. You know, we lost our nationalities. We didn't know who we are, so how are we going to know who our brother is? All right. Number one, as the white Carolinian put it, we need a policy to make Indians and Negroes check upon each other. Less by their vastly superior numbers. You see that? But they call us the minority. We are not the minority. We're the majority. And they're afraid of us. They're afraid of the tribes. They're, and they're definitely afraid of the tribes linking up, which is why they have 
agents, provocateurs in the midst of these gangs and, and trying to make them kill, you know, and trying to start a race war in between the tribes or a tribal war, if you will. All right. And Negroes and check upon each other less by the vastly superior numbers. We should be crushed by one or the other. Laws were passed to prohibit free blacks from traveling into Indian country. Why is that? All right. Because we're brothers, man. All right. Treaties with Indian tribes required the return of fugitive slaves. Why is that? Because they know if the slaves got with the Indians, then they will be a very formidable force. The perfect example of that is, um, I believe it's John Horse and the uh, Seminole Indians down there in Florida. They got down there with the tribe of Judah. They was fucking Esau, man. All right. 1683 New York law made it a crime for Negro or Indian slaves to meet anywhere together in groups of four or more are to be armed with guns, swords, clubs, staffs, or any other kind of weapon. In 1960, I'm sorry, 1690, Connecticut law forbade Indians and blacks from walking beyond the town limits without a pass. Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts all had a 9 p.m. curfew for blacks and Indians. So they did, they went to the extreme to divide and conquer us. And this happened between all the tribes, wherever you had <clears throat> so-called black people and, and the indigenous people. All right, but the Lord, and you also you have the Willie Lynch letter, you know. But this was the curse upon our nation for disobeying the Lord. This is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt now hearken unto the voice of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, thy power, to observe to do all this, <clears throat> all his commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that was that's what happened to us, man. It started when Christopher Columbus came and paced the ass over here. The curses begin to come upon us and to overtake us. All right. But one of the curses was that we were going to have an evil eye toward each other. And that's why you have so-called black on black crime. This is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, 55. I'm sorry, 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate... All right, and that's how we used to be toward one another, you know. It, it naturally, you had a period in time where our people just used to speak to one another. Nowadays, you try to speak to a Jake, you know, they might look at you sideways, might think you're trying to rob them or get at their girl, but that's because of the curses, man. But now it's coming back to where, hey, you can speak to Jake's because of the, the, the oppression that's bringing us closer to one another. You know, you might say, fuck the police, the Jake might say, fuck the police back. <laughs> now, don't, know, don't, t don't get me wrong for saying that, but you, you know what I mean. You know, the Lord is bringing us, uh, the curses are being taken up off us and put on Esau. And that's why, and that's where the division, uh, Egyptians shall be against Egyptians is going to come into play. All right. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Yeah, that's what you have out here, man. That's why you have Latin kings. That's why you have the Hispanic gangs, the Mexican gangs killing the blacks. That's why you have the, the, uh, the gangster disciples versus the bloods and, and the crips. Because our people are under heavy curses. They don't know who they are. They don't They don't even recognize their brothers. So they're killing themselves, man. They're knocking each other off. Hell, I just saw a video on World Story where it was a Jake in jail. He, he had a Hitler tattoo and a swastika tattoo. He was a blood that was killing his own people. He said, man, I might as well have been in the KKK, you know, which is uh, very heavy. Because that's the spirit that's on our people. Oh, and also it shows you that in that movie, uh, Tells from the Hood. You know, the guy, Crazy K, he got locked up with this Edomite, and the Edomite had a sword tattooed on his hand. All right, you can't make this shit up. This the so-called white man is Cain, and he killed his brother Abel, and his blessing is the sword. All right, but now our people, man, we're killing ourselves. All right, and we're divided through uh, language barrier, everything you could think of, man. They 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 divided us. All right, this is, says a language barrier is a figurative phrase used primarily to refer to linguistic barriers to, to communication. The difficulties in communication experienced by people or groups originally speak in different languages or even in or even dialects in some cases. Yeah, man. So there's a language there's a heavy language barrier, or at one point there was. Now but now a lot of but nowadays a lot of the uh Northern Kingdom they speak what's called Spanglish or they don't speak much Spanish at all. All right? But there's still that language barrier because a lot of them do speak Spanish and a lot of uh, Southern Kingdom speak English. So right off the back, there's a division. You can't understand what they're saying, so you think they're talking about you. 
all right, and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which you shall leave. So there's a total evil eye between between our, our, our men and our, and our woman and our own children, all right? But that's the curses. That's why you have single family households, man. That's why you have single mothers, all right? And that's why you have black on brown crime, and that's why you have black on black crime, all right? Because we lost our nationality and we forgot who the hell we were. You know, but now with the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shah being put back on the earth, the brothers out there on the highways and, and, and hedges, the tribes are linking up. You know, and no matter what language we speak, now we're speaking Hebrew. This is Psalm 69 and 8. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, right? Through the scattering, through the curses, <clears throat> through the divide and conquer tactics, we have become strangers unto our brethren, man. Meaning we don't know that the northern kingdom are our brothers. We think they're heathens. A lot of our people did do. They don't believe in the 12 tribes, child. They think that the Mexicans are, are, are heathens. They came through the Bering Strait. They're descendants of, of Chinese people. Totally gone, man. And so, and, and on the opposite side, you got the, the, some of the northern kingdom saying that the southern kingdom are Hamites now, man. All right? I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. Right? Meaning we don't know. All right? The people in the world... They don't know, but through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem El Shaddai, the Most High revealed the secrets unto the servants as prophets, and now it's out there. Now we know who the 12 tribes are. Now we know who our brothers are, all right? And that's why you see brothers going to eat at, at different Spanish restaurants and, and so forth and so on. Hey, well, you see a lot of uh, so-called Judite men with the Latin woman. And vice versa, you see a lot of Latin men with the black woman, all right? So we're coming back as, as a nation. All the curses are upon us. Get ready for you heathens to taste of these curses. Because it was funny when we were getting our ass whooped. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh by Shem El Shaddai power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies. So that evil eye, the curse of being scattered, the curse of being divided and conquered, the Willie Lynch letter. All right? And on them that hate these single parent households, the vision in your household, how the brother uh, stay in the spirit. He did a video on how uh, this so called white girl was arguing with her parents about black oppression. <laughs> All right, the white woman is tired of the so-called white man. They, they're leaving the white man for the Israelite man. All right, all these curses are going to come upon all you hating nations, especially you Edomites, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And for us, well, we're going to be giving our land back. It's going to be as though we have never been put in slavery. It's going to be as though our kingdom has never split. This is Ezekiel 37 and verse... Uh, 23, neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. And the northern kingdom went heavy into idolatry. All right, Jeroboam set up two golden calves for our people to worship in, in the land of Samaria, where the northern kingdom was, man. All right, and Judah followed right after them, worshiping idols. All right, and that's why the Lord put us in this captivity for the first place. We were not sold to the nations for our destruction because we provoked. Matter of fact, I'll just get it. That's one of my uh, favorite books. This is Baruch 4, and verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, because you moved Yahweh by Shem Yoshai to wrath. You were delivered to the enemies, and that's why you have the so-called other slavery, the atrocities that were suffered by the uh, indigenous people at the hands of the conquistadors, at the hands of the English, the, the French, at the hands of the so-called white man, the so-called Christians. That's why. All right, because we moved the most out of wrath. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to your power. All right, that's what we did. That's what all the tribes did. And that's why we're in the predicament that we're in now. The Lord is a jealous power. All right, Ezekiel 20, 37, 23. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their destatable things, nor with any other of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, right? Meaning we don't have to get a ticket and go back to the land of Israel. The Lord's coming back with so-called UFOs, chariots, the chariots of Israel, the chariots of fire. He's going to deliver his elect from wherever they're scattered, wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people and I will be their power. And David, my servant, shall be king over them. See the David, man. King David's going to be set up again. During the time of David, all the tribes were going to war against the Philistines, against the Edomites, all right, against the uh, Moabites, all right? 
and David my servant shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd, and they shall also walk in my judgments and, and observe my statutes and do them. And this is um this is Amos nine. This is Amos nine and verse eleven. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen, and close up the breach thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will and I will build it as in the days of old. Yeah, and that's what's happening right now, starting with the elect of our nation, because two thirds are not going to make it. But don't get it twisted. The Most High is clearly going to bring these uh, these other people of our nation that won't make it. He's going to bring them together as well, whether it be for the race wars or to be for whatever reason. All right. And in that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen and close up the breach thereof. And I'll raise up his ruins. And I will rebuild it as in the days of old. And in the days of the old, all the tribes were together. They were already united. All right. And Yahweh Shai said it himself, man. When Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he was only dealing with the southern kingdom because the northern kingdom had got casted out their land by the Assyrians. And then they just left and came to America, Osiris, the new land. All right. So during the time of the Romans were occupying Jerusalem. The northern kingdom were over here in, in, new, in the new world. All right? Which is why Yahweh Shai made this statement. This is John 10 and 16. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Right? Because he was talking to the three tribes. Which you had a remnant of northern kingdom that stayed, that always stayed with the southern kingdom. But the majority of them went to so-called North and South America. All right? And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold and one shepherd. Right? So if the northern kingdom aren't part of the tribes, then why are they coming into camps? Why are they calling upon the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Why are they linking up with the southern kingdom? All right? So that's the cut, man. This is... um. This is second edges 13. Hey, that's why you have to know that history. You know, the apostles always said, man, you have to know that history. Our history is so vast. You know, you can't just not know history and then just say, oh, the 12 tribes chart is false. No, the history proves it. All right. This is second edges 13. And uh, I think I started at 39. Yep. And where thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Shalomaster, the king of Samaria, Assyria, led away captive. See, the Lord allowed the Assyrians to take Israel captive because they were heavy into idolatry, worshiping golden calves, sacrificing their children to Molech. So the Lord got angry with them, man. He fucked them up. All right? And they've never been in that land since. Hamites was dwelling in that land. And that's how we know the lady at the well, John the fourth chapter. The Lord cussed her ass out because she was a healer. All right? And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. So they got taken the captive in another land a long time ago. This is before the Greeks. This is before the Romans. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. And that's Osiris. All right. This is from the uh, so-called Jewish encyclopedia, which there's no such thing as Jewish. The issue is a suffix, which means to pertain to. You're either a Jew or you're not. All right. It says the name of the land beyond the great river, far beyond the habitation of man, in which the ten tribes of Israel would dwell, observing the laws of Moses. So it's no, it's no coincidence that they were found in Los Lunas Stone, Chief Joseph Tablet, different artifacts with Hebrew on them, with the name of the Lord on them, with the with the Ten Commandments on them, in so-called North and South America. Look it up. All right. Until the time of restoration, which we're in that time right now. Columbus identified America with his land. That's not his real name. His real name is Cristobal Colon, and he came over here with Hebrew interpreters. Now, why would he come over here with Hebrew interpreters? Because the tribes speak Hebrew. All right. This is second edges 13 and verse. Verse uh, 41, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might keep there their statutes, which they never kept in their own land, 
and they entered in the Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. For the Most High then shoot signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. So the Most High guided them over here safely. All right? The Most High guided them over here safely, man. Hey, Issachar knew, the, knew how the signs of the times and how to read the stars. The Zebulon was a haven of ships. So you think they couldn't get over here? No, the Lord made it so where they got over here, man. For through that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And that same region is called Azareth. There you go. We just read the definition. Columbus identified with, it, with America. He knew he wasn't going to no damn India. All right. Then dwelt they there until the latter time. And now when they shall begin to come. Exactly. Call all y'all by Shem So that proves that the indigenous people are, are the Israelites, man. If you can receive it, because a lot of our people can't re receive it, man. All right. So I just want to get uh, one more scripture. This is Isaiah 11. Verse 13, all right, this is the NIV, which this right here is the Bible Hub where you can get, you know, you can look at the different um, the different uh, versions of, of what it says. And this is the NIV. It says, Ephraim's jealousy will vanish. And why would Ephraim be jealous of, of, of Judah? Well, because, like I said, there's a whole lot of Northern Kingdom Hispanic people that get shot down and get brutalized by police. It never gets as much attention as when a so-called Negro or Haitian or Jamaican gets shot down by the police. Even slavery. They went through slavery before us, man. All right? But it's spiritual because Judah is the head tribe. All right? Ephraim's jealousy will vanish and Judah's enemies will be destroyed. And who are enemies? The so-called white man. All right? The Arabs. All right? All these heathen nations are enemies. Ephraim would not be jealous of Judah, nor Judah hostile toward Ephraim. All right? Meaning we're not going to be killing one another. We're not going to be jealous of one another. We're going to be brought together in, in, in harmony, starting with the elect. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakwadash, double ones unto apostles and elders, the great millstone, the men that rule and teach well, Shalom, Wakasad, and Mabarakim, peace, mercy, and blessings to the hopeful elect.